Hello everyone. First thing I want to say is I hope you're either having a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you're, wherever you're at in the world. Today's video is going to be short. Uh, it's just a few things that we picked up, but it's a very exciting one for us uh, because the, me and the wife actually went and got a pop from a, uh, it was part of a personal collection, uh, but it's the one last pop we need to complete a series for us. So we're super excited for that and I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll go ahead and do that last. But uh, a couple other things we got was we got the uh, A package in the mail. I do believe this is from Pop in the Box. We went ahead and got one of the Pop Box exclusives. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is, so it'll be kind of a mystery for us opening up here. Uh, it's either, I think it's a symbiote venom, I'm thinking is what it is. It's either that or the Deadpool one, I'm not sure. Uh, and as we were in the town where we were at to pick up the Pop, I went ahead and went to the GameStop real quick, and I went ahead and picked up four Mr. Minis of the Star Wars. So we'll go ahead and crack those open real quick here in a minute. Uh, the first thing I want to show off is actually we got at the GameStop was this pop. So this is one of the PlayStation Pops. It is from the game Bloodborne. I thought it looked pretty cool. I'm not really... The name of the game is not really known to me. I never played it. But I did think it was a pretty looking cool pop. And it was in really good shape too. I think they were fairly new. I know they came out with a couple different ones. But the... The back is kind of basic, PlayStation Blue, with the character. I'm sure that's how PlayStation wanted it, but it is a cool looking pop. I'm glad I picked it up. That was on the front of there, I got it. But that is in a really good box, so that was a pickup from there. Um, let's go ahead and open these minis real quick. Already went ahead and took the plastic off of them. We are still... I was figuring out what was left in this set the other day, and there was like two sort of exclusives, and my mind was being blown by what we still needed. But we still need, I believe, three total out of these sets from the exclusives, and I still think we still need two of the original set, which is not on here because these are the GameStop exclusives. But I'll show a box off real quick. Hopefully, get in frame. There's what we can get. We've opened up these before. So. Let's get to it. Always love a good mystery. Oh, we got... Oh, it's one of the Knights of Ren. And uh, we have three of him now. But he is the exclusive one in 12 from GameStop. So, I know we have all the GameStop exclusive ones already. Of course they bobble, and of course they have bases. Part of the license agreement. Um, but he's really cool. The blade is... Uh, that's what makes him special is his blade. And then I love his hood, how it comes down, hanging off. Uh, you know, the sides of his head there. Uh, but he's pretty, I mean, color's all black. You know, that's how the knights are. But it's still a cool looking mini. A uh, different type of bag. Oh, this is the one that I thought that we still needed to finish off the set. And it is not, but we did get him the other day, but it's awesome. So it's good to have a second backup. Maybe uh, be able to display him somewhere else, keep the master set somewhere else if we do get there. So just uh, a droid. Oh, what is, oh, oh. His spring is totally malfunctioning a little bit. <laughs> he is in need some, of some work. He's been uh, maybe coming across C C3PO too much. He always seemed like he always needed help. There's that one. Two more to go. If you hear a little pitter pattern, I apologize. We just have a new puppy and uh, he is down here with me. I'm sorry, she. We have all boys and this is our first girl. Her name is Timber. I'm sure she'll make an appearance at some point. But she is running around down here with me as I'm opening. Ooh. Got a Ray. Put a little bobble on her. Try to make sure I get her in here. Lightsabers are always seen sometimes. I mean, I guess I'm glad I haven't got one broke, but they, you know, some of the times that they're bent. They gotta bend them back a little bit. So far, we have not hit the one that we need. I believe we just need the regular. <laughs> what we need is the regular Kylo Ren, actually. He's just a 1 in 12, but we have not gotten him out of anything yet. We have gotten the other Kylo Rens, but it wasn't just the uh, part of the original set or series. So it'd be nice to get that. Oh, 
another exclusive I do believe it is. Once again, guys, Star Wars is not my thing. I mean, I've watched the movies, but I am I don't know characters by name off the top of my head. Uh, I was I was more into it when I was in high school and coming out of high school, but you know, so many things in my head since then. Lost names of some of these characters. It's pretty cool. I know he's a uh, he's one of the generals, I think, in the, uh, the Jedi. So there's those four. Now let's get to the unboxing of the pop in the box exclusive, I do believe. I'm not 100% sure, but about 90. Now, I do not have my box knife with me, so just use the small scissors that I use to tear open the minis with. Probably not the best idea. All right, so is it maybe this way? Oh, that's the right way. Let me take a look. Ah, yes. So it is a venomous symbiote uh, woman character, I think. I'm not sure. Let me take it out. And I was very happy to see Pop Box actually send it with like, send it with like somewhat of a sorter. I know sometimes they do bags, and that is never much appreciated in the uh, collector's uh, mind. So hopefully they're getting a lot better with that. April Parker, yeah. So yes, the box seems really good. Let me check out the front again. Sticker placement's good. Character looks pretty awesome. Character looks pretty awesome, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna have to take this one out of the box because I know there's so much detail in it. And that's what I really like about the Venom Pops. I know they're not really, you know, highly desirable in terms of value. But I think they're just cool. Straight the bottom of the box. That is over. Set the box down. Okay. okay, to the main focal point of the video, like I said, me and the wife went and bought this off of uh, an actual person. It wasn't through a store. It was uh, they actually purchased it, and now it is on our, in our possession, part of our collection. But we're really happy about it. My wife was actually ecstat ecstatic for it. There we go. Ten inch chase troll. Uh, I was looking at the box. The chase sticker is kind of close to the end of the window, and it might start peeling later at a later date. But the only other thing is maybe the top of this corner is bent in a little bit. Uh, I was looking at the box, and the only thing is maybe this little dent in the corner there. But, but for a 10 inch, that's amazing. I mean, sometimes you never know how they ship or how they get to you, but the back of it's really great. Uh, there's no, like, really. Well, all right, everyone. Sorry about that. Uh, I actually have to cut and get the puppy because she was making so much noise. So we're gonna try to finish this video off real quick and keep her uh, keep her entertained as well as along with you. So this is Timber, she is our new puppy. She is a Sitsu, and she is just a little bit over eight weeks, so she's brand new to us and brand new uh, brand new to us and you know fairly brand new to the world. So I do apologize. I know she's very cute, but uh, let's go ahead and try to finish up with the content of the troll here. So these are at the Funko shop. We actually got two of them, uh, and there was a one in six chase for it. We did not get one. We had two of the, uh, the original 10 inch ones, and we'll show that off uh, when we do a collection. I'm sorry, when we do the uh, series of them. But so we've kind of been on the secondhand market looking for these, you know, eBay, Macari, and all that stuff. But we were really hesitant because we didn't know exactly how they would ship, ship to us uh, from there. But I knew somebody that was selling one personally, so I was going to be able to view it, view it before we purchased it, purchased it. So that was part of the trip today was to go look at it. Uh, it was really great. The wife smiled. She loves it. So we went ahead and bought it. Uh, it was a little. It was right around PBG, so we can't complain about that right now, which is a little bit double than what they were when they were in, when you could get them from Funko. But it is a really great figure. The hair. I don't know if anybody, if you guys have seen these trolls, but the hair is actually isn't molded. Uh, it is actually uh, not really posable. Hey, no biting, no biting timber. That's not a good way to show it to people. Um, but you can mess around with the hair. I'm not going to take it out now. Maybe another later video when we're looking at the full series of them. Um, and then, you know, it's awesome. So you can kind of just play with the hair. But like I said, the box is in really good shape. So the wife is really happy. And then, to be honest with you, I've actually kind of fallen in love with the Good Luck Trolls too. It, goes, it takes me back to the, uh, the days when I was a kid. My mom played Big O. And she'd have all the little trolls in front of her or whatever. I'd run in and see her real quick whenever she was at the bingo halls. Um, and then they came out with the series and they came out with the minis. And you guys have seen I've gone crazy with the minis along with the wife. It is one of the series that I love collecting. 
so this is near and dear to both of us, and we were very happy to finish off the set. So with that said, that was our uh, kind of mini haul for the day, picking up the pot, and then made a run to uh, GameStop, and then got the uh, Pop in the Box exclusive in. So if you like this video, like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, so you know whenever I have new videos coming, and I should be having a lot coming, guys. You know, I'm trying to do the most I can with content. Uh, but if this is your, not, not just your first time, but if you've seen another video from me, I truly appreciate it. Keep it up. Uh, and if you guys have any comments, uh, anything you'd like to see, uh, do better content-wise, just let me know and we'll, we'll go from there. But me and Tim are going to get out of here because she is nice and rambunctious right now. So you guys have a good either a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening for the rest of your time. And until we, we come back next time.